Hi guys, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.tv. Um, in March of 2013, I was selected to make a presentation about how to turn your iPad into a smart board. Um, this is what the uh, presentation, the, the main page was going to look like. Turn your iPad into a smart board, presented by Brent Warner, and uh, with a fancy little logo and everything. I was actually going to be pretty smart, and I was going to do it with an Apple TV. But when I started looking into things, um, this presentation was going to be done at my alma mater, USC. And as it turns out, USC's audiovisual doesn't allow for the kind of cable that an Apple TV requires. So even though I wanted to use the Apple TV, it was out of the question. So I had to find a workaround. Today we're going to talk about that workaround, which is actually a genius application called Reflector. Um, Reflector is basically a tool that will let you project your iPad or iPhone or iDevice uh, right onto your MacBook or your whatever your Mac or PC that you're using and then you can use that PC and connect it to your projector. So it's a bit of a third step around, but it's actually cheaper than buying an Apple TV. And if you want to project your iPad or iDevice directly onto the wall with your projector, this is really a great way to do it. Okay, so somewhat ironically, I actually have to use Reflector to explain how to use Reflector. <laughs> but bear with me, we'll get through this together. It's actually pretty easy. Um, so I've downloaded Reflector and I've, I've provided a link for you below on how to download it. I think it's about $13 to get it. Uh, a lot cheaper than the $99 for the Apple TV. But um, you pretty simply download Reflector and uh, then you open it up. And as you can see here, we've got an iPad on my screen. Now uh, this is actually my iPad. So if I turn on my iPad, you can see what I've got here. So if I unlock it, you can see my home screen. Um, here's the way you actually get it going. So you've already got your Reflector app open on your computer, either your Mac or your PC. Uh, you have to download the correct one, but it shouldn't be too hard. So when you've opened up the Reflector app on your computer, then you have to go into uh, your computer and make sure that your Wi-Fi signal is on the same network that your Wi-Fi signal on your uh, iPad or iPhone is on. That's the only real trick. Just make sure you guys are on the same network. For most of you at your school, it shouldn't be a problem, but if you have a uh, you know, like a teacher's network versus a student's network or something like that. Just be a little bit careful, make sure that you're on the same network. So the next step is actually pretty easy. All you have to do is just go double click on your home button and you'll slide over and you can see right down here there's the little uh, air display button and that gives you your airplay right there. All you have to do is just click on what you want to display it to, so in this case obviously to my MacBook Air, um, and then make sure that your mirroring is turned on. That's it. As soon as you've done those two things, I can't turn it off because it'll turn off my entire reflector, but um, all you have to do is just make sure that those two things are on, and then you're good to go. As you can see, I can flip back and forth, and I can show everything on the reflector screen which is right on my computer that is actually on my uh, iPad so if I wanted to go into the clock and kind of you know show you the, the world clock or all these different things it's really pretty easy now the reflector app itself actually has a couple of cool functions that you might want to look at uh, definitely worth checking out one is if you want to present your iPad or whatever your device is um, as it actually is, you can go ahead and do that. It's pretty cool. So you just go up here to this device menu setting and it says the frame skin. So my iPad is a regular black iPad, um, so I check iOS black. But if you want it to be a mini, to show and display like your mini is, you can say iOS black mini. 
and here you can see how the shape has changed a little bit to match a mini. Um, you can also change the color if you happen to have a white mini then you can use the white one just like that so you can kind of change it up and, and make it look like you know whatever your own iPad is. Uh, besides that you might actually want to make it very full screen uh, so that it takes up as much of the wall or, or the projector as much as you can. Um, so you, all you have to do for that is remove this part that says show frame. If you want it to take up the full screen, which you probably do, uh, all you have to do is make sure that you're in there and you can hit the scale and you can say this one stretch to fit. So it's going to be all the way as big as it can be and then you're going to hit the uh, enter full screen and this will take up as much space as you can. Um, so you know if you really want to show the details, if you've got a big board and you want everything to be visual and seen by your students, then that's a pretty easy way to do it. So there is one more cool function about Reflector that um, some of you who are interested in flipping classes and things like that might be interested in, and that is the ability to record. So if you go again up to, re to device and you just hit this start recording button, it will actually record and you can see right here everything that you're doing on your um, iPad or iPhone or whatever device you want to use. Uh, it's really pretty nice. Uh, the problem is that it's not going to record your voice, so please do be careful about that if you're thinking that it's going to record your voice. Um, that's not really one of the options. You would have to go into iMovie or something like that after the fact and put your voice in. So, uh, so there is a dual part there. But it's still a nice function to have and uh, you know you can upload it and save it for your students and all sorts of things. So uh, yeah, that's Reflector and I definitely recommend it as a cheap way to get your iPad up onto the wall. Hey guys, just to wrap things up, um, I really want to say thank you for watching the videos. I hope you find them useful. Um, if you do, please leave me a message either down below or give a like or something. Um, I want to know if I'm doing things that you want to know about or if you want something else, of course, always let me know. Um, I'm hoping to grow this and get some uh, really useful and practical ed tech tutorials for you guys that you can kind of instantly implement right into your classrooms. So again, uh, just give me a like or, uh, you know, of course, leave messages and I will respond back and uh, and uh, we'll, we'll move forward from there. Thanks.